Hey everybody, this is Kressel Snapdragon back again with another Discord Bot Maker tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple 8-ball. It's actually really easy, it's just fairly tedious, but I'll try and take you step by step relatively slowly so that it's easy to follow along with me. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to create new command, we're going to call it 8-ball, and we're going to leave the restrictions and permissions the same. Down here in the actions, I want to create an embedded response for the 8-ball. But the first thing that I want to do is create a random number generator. We're going to go to generate random number and you have to give it a minimum and a maximum range. I'm going to do one in seven and you want to store it under a temporary variable name. I'm going to call it random. The next thing I'm going to do is create the embedded message. So we're going to give it its look. Go to create. And if you haven't seen my video yet on how to create embedded messages, please go give that a watch. It's a very short video because in creating the embedded messages, it's fairly simple. So we're just going to give it a title. This is where you determine the look of your embedded message. I also have an image URL. If you have an image, make sure that it has the dot source at the end of it. And then I have a color code. This is the HTML hex here for the look of the embedded image and we want to store it under the temporary variable called message. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a series of conditions. We're just going to create them right now. We're not going to completely set them up just yet. We're going to use temporary variable random, and this is where we're going to choose the value that we're comparing it to, which will be between one and seven. So right now we're just going to create this action and we're going to clone it six times for a total of seven of these. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna set these up last. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to set the embed description. That's where we just create the body of text. Set embed description. This is being stored under message. And this is where we're gonna write the eight balls response. We're going to make it bold. That's what the two asterisks are for. We can even have it ping the command author by right clicking here and going to mention member, insert command author. We're then going to have it send the embed message that is stored under the temp variable called message. And then we're going to end action. We need to do the end action sequence because we're going to create more embedded descriptions further down and we don't want the bot to continually respond. So we want it to end the action sequence after it's already responded with one response. Now we're going to clone everything. And we're going to do this seven times. We're going to clone the set embed message description. We're going to clone the send embed message and the end action sequence. And you can also go through and change the message. And so just make sure you're changing the messages. We're going to keep going. So that's four now. One, two, three, four, five, six.
So we're just having it generate random responses, but you have to tell it what to respond with first. And then these are going to be assigned different numbers that are randomly generated between 1 and 7. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. They're all going to be assigned a value. I'm trying to think of what eight balls normally say. So now we have seven responses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to set up these conditions. So these conditions are going to be used to tell the bot which of these answers to respond with. And we want to do them last because we're going to have to use these numbers over here that dictate the actions, basically. So we'll go to 1. So if the value of the generated number equals 1, if true, we want it to jump to action 10. and then it's going to generate this embedded message with this response, ask again later. If false, we want it to continue. So it's going to go down to here to the next check variable. We're going to do this again. Equals 2, we want it to jump to action 13 for this response here. If false, we want it to continue. If equals 3, we want it to jump to action 16. If false, we want it to continue. Equals 4, jump to action 19. We're going to keep going. 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 22, if false, continue action. So again, these are just creating conditions. So it's saying that if the value equals 6, if this is true, it's going to jump to action 25, and it's going to generate this response. If false, it's just going to continue and check whether it's value number 7. Okay, so that is how we set up the 8-ball. Next, we can actually test it, so we're going to run project. I'm going to go back to my bot testing server. I'm going to go to 8-ball. Let's ask it a question. Will my day be good? <laughs> it is a no from me. So that is how we create a simple 8-ball. We can ask it another question. The answer that you're looking for cannot be found here. Works perfectly. Obviously, you can cater its aesthetics to you so that it's personalized, but that is how you create a simple 8-ball. I will, of course, put the raw data into the GitHub that I have the link for down in the bottom. So thanks for watching.